Hello and welcome back to Popcorn Podcast with Lee and Tim, where you're listening to a very special interview episode, where we're sitting down with the stars of Force of Nature, The Dry 2, Deborah Lee Furness and Jacqueline McKenzie. They're all special episodes, Tim, but this one's extra special. I couldn't agree more, love. I'm Timmy Fland, movie buff. And I'm Lee Livingstone, entertainment journalist. And we love to talk all things Australian movies. Ah, oh, Australian movies. Let's get into it. <laughs> in Force of Nature, The Dry 2, five women take part in a corporate hiking retreat, but only four come out on the other side. Federal agents Aaron Falk and Carmen Cooper head deep into the Victorian mountain ranges to investigate in the hopes of finding their whistleblowing informant Alice still alive. Force of Nature, The Dry 2 is written and directed by Robert Connolly, based on the book by Jane Harper. It has an absolutely stacked cast featuring Eric Banner, Anna Torv, Deborah Lee Furness, Robin McLevy, Sissy Stringer, Lucy Ansell, Jacqueline McKenzie and Richard Roxburgh. Friends, hold on to your earbuds or steering wheel or wherever it is you're listening from because we have two queens of the Australian screen gracing Popcorn Podcast with their presence. That is absolutely correct. Powerhouse producer, actor and adoption advocate Deborah Lee Furness joins us along with her award-winning co-star Jacqueline McKenzie of Romper Stomper fame, among so many others, to discuss their new movie with us. Of course, the pair are starring together opposite Eric Banner in the sequel to hit crime thriller The Dry. Actually, at one point, the interview does turn... (laughs) into a bit of an Eric Banner love fest, doesn't it? (laughs) And rightly so. I agree. But it isn't about Banner today. This is about two of Australia's greatest performers working together once again on a twisty, turny mystery that has us all on the edge of our seats. And it's also about the leech attacks and trip hazards that they had to endure (laughs) to bring this haunting beauty of the Victorian mountains to the big screen. They truly did suffer for this (laughs) And we're about to find out at what level. So let's take a listen to the interview. No mobile phones. You need a social media free weekend, ladies. You'll survive. Thank you so much for your time today, ladies. The film is fantastic. Oh, good. Were you there last (laughs) night? Uh, Not last night. I saw it last week, actually. Mm -hmm. Deborah Lee, it's been a while since we've seen you on screen in this capacity. I've been busy. You've been very busy. <laughs> but it's so exciting to see you on this side of the screen. Thank you. What was it about The Force of Nature that hooked you in? Well, I the director, Robert Connolly, Eric yeah. Banner is an old friend, Jackie is an old friend. Bugger lots. Um, <laughs> and I love that it was a, a female cast, ensemble, strong, female-dominated piece, and I wanted to come and play. And your character is so strong. She's no nonsense, doesn't take any shit from anyone, excuse my language. Yeah, no. <laughs> it must have been really fun to play. Oh, she was great to play. Yeah. I loved Jill. I had lots to push against too because the girls yeah. gave me grief in character. And yeah. it's tough as she is. I have to say last night, what a night, by the way, the best opening night down there on the, yeah. in front of the Harbour Bridge. Last night, I cried. In the camping scene. Oh, which way? In the Torv. Yes. And your face in camera was just so delicate and beautiful and I actually cried. And I've seen it before. Yeah. The first time I saw it, She's a I bit <laughs> all my nails down. I was so scared. And then yeah. last night I, I had my daughter with me and I kept going, oh, oh, because it's really compelling. No, there's some poignant moments. I mean, it's it's harrowing and it's yeah. sort of yeah. twist and turn. But, you, but there's some fun. You get to see these the vulnerability of these women. Mm-hmm as they break down when the force of nature does take over the nature, the environment Mm. and their own natures. So you get to see the women without the cover. I think that's so cool, isn't it, the way you do, where where there's certainly no cardboard cutouts in this. (laughs) (laughs) I love how Australian this interview is. But being a corporate retreat, I mean, you know, they're all fabulous business women and really strong, powerful women in in their industry. And that's exactly what you're saying. Once yeah. out there with the leeches and well, Once you put it out storms, there in the woods, yeah. humanity just kicks oh, in we, and fantastic. our true nature but, kicks in. But what a testament to the film that it, it moved you in such a oh, way. Oh, yeah, it did. And, and the funny thing was I said yes to it before I'd read it on the strength of the letter from Robert Connolly who said that Deborah Lee was in it and, yeah. you know, Eric's not too bad. Yeah. Ah, but That it, old guy. You know, <laughs> I've been trying to get Deborah to come back and work on films I've been in for years. And well, we've done, done about four films. We've done four films together. And so it was so exciting yeah. that she finally said yes. 
I didn't invite her, of course. I was, yeah. uh, she was on way before I was. And then to read it and go, oh, my God, this is amazing. And then this incredible ensemble. And I was only saying just then in our hair makeup room, how extraordinary for Eric Banner, who's like, I mean, such a god in Hollywood and such an epic movie star and powerful, to be confident and empowering of five like really strong women. Oh, he championed them. He did in this mm -hmm. thing and, and just sit within it as a producer and as an actor mm -hmm. and watch mm -hmm. these powerhouse performances and, and yeah. to enable that. What an yeah. amazing. He's a, gener he's a generous actor. Generous, and he's a generous, generous man. Yeah. yeah. So generous. Yeah. But also smart. Yeah. This <laughs> <laughs> has turned into the Eric Banner show. Uh, <laughs> well, it, well, it is. It's, it's Force of Nature <laughs> yeah. and it's Aaron Fork. It's a, yeah. it's a follow up to the original film, The Dry. Yes. And this is, of course, The Force of Nature, yeah. The Dry 2. We yes. called it the wet. Oh, yes. yes, out there yes. in the storms. And there's a third book, I believe, which is set in yep. wine country, so that could be the wine. See, they win. <laughs> <laughs> we got leeches, they get wine. I'm hoping yeah. that I could sort of re transform myself ah, in a no. week or something and go and get sloshed down in the valley. <laughs> Speaking of the leeches, I saw your interview on the project last night where you were uh -huh. talking about all the leeches and being attacked. I just got my first leech experience a couple of weeks ago down the south coast and I damn near fainted. How did you how much handle blood it? Did it take love? Not a lot, not a lot, but I just saw it. Ah, yeah. Good. But yeah. how did you handle being out there in the in the wild? Did you expect the shoot to be so physical? No. I had no idea that it was going to be as harrowing and challenging. I mean, those mountains, I mean, it, it shows off Australia's beauty, mm. but we were literally yeah. hiking up the mountains every day yeah. and every night in the dark. And the camera crew were lugging cameras up there. I mean, these were really obscure locations and we were top of mountains. It's National Park. A lot of the places we filmed in had never been filmed in before. In fact, we had to get special dispensation to shoot yeah. there. So there were a lot of very au natural leeches ready for us. <laughs> and, Couldn't believe their luck. And holes in the ground. I was always like, go, actress down. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Well, it's just <laughs> That was actually and... funny last night. There's one particular scene when Deborah might ah. or might not have fallen over. We all laughed. They heard their laugh. The general public person next to me looking at me like, how cruel. Yes, uh, how you're laughing you laugh at, at our national treasure. It's an in-house joke. We all fell over, didn't we? We all it's fell just over. Like that. Jacqueline, speaking of your character, Carmen, I don't think we, we didn't see her in the first film, but I think she no. might have been alluded to. What's the dynamic like between her and Aaron Falk? I love this trilogy because it really is the journey of Aaron's character, how the cases he is working on start letting him see the job that he's actually doing and the sort of moral ambiguity in there yeah. and, and, and whether or not it's right or wrong and how conflicted he is and I, just so let me tell you, I'm not remotely conflicted. Yeah. I'm very happy to take whoever it is that I have to take down. Yeah. As long as we get the results. Yeah. I'm pretty by the book. It's the end And result. I love that because it gives him something to look at. And does he want to become me? Well, no, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. But I also get to see him as a human and, and his character. Mm -hmm. And there's moments where I see the humanity in that character and I feel like, she knows she's missed that boat, yeah. that she's going to keep going. Most of the women, not your character obviously, have to survive the wilderness and bats and leeches and all the other things we talked about. How do you think either of you would fare in that situation? Are you campers well, we did. or are you glampers? We had to. I've def I sleep under five stars. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm definitely a glamper. Yeah. I don't think I'd be very happy. <laughs> I'd be like, <laughs> taxi. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I just finished a... a, a Binny Wago trip with my daughter around the North Island oh. and her friend, and I just was singing the praises of road roadmobiles. What are they called? The, you know, vans. Cab vans. Oh, right. cab I vans. drove that six birth thing all around Auckland and, and down the. the it sounds Port like Mandel. fun. But I don't uh, about the let reality. me tell you, when I walked into this hotel yesterday, I went, Roxy, this is it, isn't it? And she yeah. goes, Yes. <laughs> said, well, if you like this, love, you have to let mummy go back to work. Yeah. <laughs> Hotels all the way. <laughs> well, it was just so beautiful. No leeches. No yeah, I like being, a no, bit. Yeah. yeah. And chips at, you know, 1 p.m., 1 a.m. after us, yeah. you know, after your premiere. From the minibar. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I totally agree. Um, thank you so much for your time today, ladies. I really appreciate it. And congrats thank you. again. Thank the you. <laughs> I think people make their own choices. Although we're not always clear of the consequences, are we, Alice? Lee, question for you. Would you endure leeches to bring popcorn podcasts to life? 
Well, you heard that I had my first leech <laughs> experience just the other week, right? Yes. I did not handle it well, so probably not. You know, I'd probably set the office on fire with all the equipment and you in it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why do I? Why am I collateral damage here? <laughs> You didn't tell me about your leech incident uh, yeah. down the south coast. So when I was watching your interview back for the first time, I was like, oh, my gosh, hope she was okay. <laughs> so that's where I found out. I couldn't talk about it. It was too traumatic. The trauma. Yeah. The trauma. I can completely sympathize. Thank God you're here. Thank God it didn't. <laughs> I made it. It wasn't the end for you. I'm still alive. You have more chapters left in your life. You're <laughs> still with us. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. You can watch the full interview with Deborah Lee Furness and Jacqueline McKenzie over on our YouTube channel, where you'll also find our chat with superstar Eric Banner and director Robert Connolly. And our review of the film is on all good podcast platforms. Source of Nature, The Dry 2 is in Australian cinemas from February 8. As always, friends, thank you so much for listening. And we hope we'll catch you next time. I hope so too. We've got so much more to look forward to. (laughs) See you guys. We have a website, popcornpodcast.com. Make sure you check it out. We've got all our episodes up there for you. If you'd like to get to know us a little better, there's an About Us section and we run ticket giveaways. So keep an eye on the website for more information. 